Hi, I'm Chris Bryce with SuperService.com, and I'd like to show you how to start Windows XP in safe mode. There's a couple different ways to do this. The main way is when you start the computer, Windows XP allows you to hit the F8 key or the Function 8 key to get into the menu that will allow you to go into safe mode. Now, a lot of people have trouble getting to that menu or hitting F8 at the right time, and it ends up going ahead and starting to load Windows XP. It's not really a suggested way of doing it, but if you miss it and Windows XP starts to load, as soon as you see the Windows XP logo, turn off your computer. Wait about 10 seconds, and then when you turn the computer back on, there will be a message that comes up telling you that Windows did not start properly, and it will give you a menu of commands that will allow you to go into different versions of Windows. One of those is safe mode. You can then select it from that list, hit enter, and you go into Windows XP safe mode. Now, if you're able to do the timing right, which I've got a little trick for that, then you'll be able to just go into the F8 menu and choose safe mode directly before it starts loading Windows. The way to do this is, shortly after turning on your computer, as you see what's called the post screen, or the memory checking itself, and any logo for the actual manufacturer of the computer itself, then slowly, about every one second intervals, you're going to tap on the F8 key over and over every second until that menu comes up. This works almost every time and allows you that list of options so that you can choose safe mode. Those are the best ways to use to try to get into safe mode with Windows XP.